All right, so we got some equations here that we want to solve. So what we'll go ahead and do is solve them all for their verified variables. So starting off with 31, solving for r in this case, divide through by everything that's on the right side. So we're left with r squared is equal to v divided by, well, it's, it's one third, so it's gonna be three on top, um, pi h, and then just take the square root of that. And you end up with square root of, r is equal to the square root of three v over pi h. All right, cool. So over here for f, solve for r. So we're gonna end up with, we can just reciprocate everything. So we have one over f is equal to r squared over g. It's the same thing, because you could put g on top there, little m, big m. So we end up with r is equal to the square root of big G, little m, big M, all over f. All right. Solve for b. All we're going to do, this is the Pythagorean theorem, basically. I'm going to shortcut this here. So we have b is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared. And that's if like you had one leg in the hypotenuse, but you didn't have the other other leg. That's how you use that equation. Interest problem, solve for i. So first thing we'll do is we'll divide a by p. So a divided by p is equal to one plus i over 100 squared. Take square root of both sides, and then we're gonna end up with one plus one over 100 is equal to the square root of a over p. We're solving for i. So subtract one from here, and then multiply by 100. And that's how we end up with i. And we can go ahead and just leave the 100 on the outside there. I mean, you, I guess you could multiply it through. So you have 100 radical a over p minus 100, but that's fine. All right, 35. Solve for t. Huh. Looks like we're going to complete the square, maybe. Yeah, I think so. So. One half, we'll have this, one half, G, no, it's not, that's not gonna be it. Yeah, that'll work. One half G, quantity T squared plus V naught T plus uh, one half of that squared, so V naught over four squared. That's the V naught squared, but it's over four because we took one half of whatever it is. One fourth, it. it's not gonna be that. It's gonna be just one fourth. Equals H. So one fourth of that times G You know what, I'm sorry. I kinda had the right idea, but it's easier to just use the Pythagorean theorem. Not Pythagorean theorem, but the quadratic equation. So T is equal to opposite of B, so in this case that's gonna be negative V naught plus or minus the square root of b squared, so v naught squared minus four times a, which is one half g times uh, c, which is negative h in this case, so let's see. All over two a, which is two times one half g. So this essentially is going to whittle down into t is equal to negative v naught plus or minus v 
v naught squared plus 2gh. Because the negative values cancel out. 4 and the 1 half become 2. And then just over g. All right. So it looks like we can complete the square on this one. So 2 little a, or s equals n squared plus n. And I just used quadratic equation again, sorry. So we get minus 2s is equal to 0. Using the quadratic formula, opposite of b, so negative 1, because there's no, in front of n, there's just a 1 coefficient, plus or minus square root of b, which is just going to be 1 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 2s, because s is a constant of some kind, over 2 times a, which is 1. So we end up with n is equal to uh, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 8s all over 2. That's it. Alrighty. Sorry about some hiccups there. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching this video, and I'll see you next time.